Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 2013 Panini Select Football. Six box, random team break number three. One spot gets you two teams. So, we got a double you up. Like Sir Mixlot. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And all 32 are in. And let's randomize each list eight times. Two and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. After eight ties, we've got Kenny down to Chris. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, the Detroit Lions down to the Cleveland Browns. All right, so Kenny with the Lions, George with the Bengals, Mark Madsen with the Bears, Sean Donovan with the Niners, George with the Chargers, Sean with the Raiders, Jack with the Jets and the Ravens, Brian with the Cardinals, Greg J with the Colts, Greg B with the Falcons, Mark with the Buccaneers, Roy, you got the Rams. Jeff Mason with the Cowboys. Greg with the Packers. Rolando Lewis with the Dolphins. Michael Gallucci with the Vikings. Kenny with the Pats. Garrett with the Eagles. Greg Brewer with the New York Football Giants uh, with your last spot mojo. Your other last spot mojo, Seahawks. Chris with the Bills. Garrett with the Titans. Michael Gallucci with the Saints. Brian Bledsoe with the Panthers. Chris, that spot from Mark that you got. Redskins and Chiefs. Broncos, Roy. Jeff Mason with the Jaguars. Greg with the Texans, Rolando Lewis with the Steelers, and Chris with the Cleveland Browns. Let's alphabetize by team. And feel free to trade if you'd like. But let's keep that 2013 NFL draft class in mind. There you go. Thinking, thinking of guys like that. DeAndre Hopkins, Zach Ertz, Le'Veon Bell, Eddie Lacy, Travis Kelsey, Keenan Allen, etc., etc., etc. The guys in gold are uh, Pro Bowlers. Or have been a Pro Bowler at one point. Alright, so while you're considering trades... Let's pop this case open. Right there, 2013 Select Football. And let's see which six boxes we're going to do. George has the Cincinnati... Bengals and the Los Angeles Chargers up for trade. Remember to keep in mind the draft class, George. So six on the left side, six on the right side. We'll roll the die, and we'll see which side we're going to do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this side we will save for next time, which will be for break four. So I've marked those four. You can see I've marked these three boxes four right here. So this will be four next time.
A lot of trade offers, but no, no, no triggers pulled on any trades. All right, well, TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Well, you guys want to do Chargers? Chargers? I'll, I'll allow it. Chargers Falcons? George with the Falcons put a T next to there for trade so we can keep track of it if you're keeping track of the trades at home and we'll put a T next to there for uh, for Greg who now has the Chargers that's done sorry trees let's print this out to make it official. Good luck, everybody. So what do we got here? We got all that. Four autographs per box. So we'll see a lot of blasts from the past, I'm sure. We see how the trade works out for both parties. And Greg Brewer with the Giants as well. Last bought Mojo. Thanks for snagging that last team. And let's see what we got here. I kind of like this format. The little the two the two mini boxes. I do that. In case one wants to stay behind. All right. Good luck. Vin Vinny likes the 11th hour trade deadline deal. They got, they got it faxed in. What happened with the... Uh, you guys remember the, the story about the Browns a couple years ago? Like they had a trade deal done... But like they didn't fax it or they didn't fax it on time or to the league office or something like that. I forget who the player, I forget who it was for, but I remember maybe three years ago, something like that happening. And they were like, yeah, we got the trade, got the trade done, got the deal done. And I was like, nope, she didn't. Maybe it wasn't the Browns. I don't think it was for like a big player or anything. It was it Elvis Doomerville? All right. Let's see what we have in here. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through these. These ones aren't numbered. And there's... So only veteran commons won't ship. But obviously, all rookie cards will ship. There's uh, some of these guys I don't even remember, like Cornelius Carradine to 499. Niner, Sean Donovan with that one. But obviously, stuff like this will ship. That's not a veteran common, that's a refractor. The redemption is going to be. 
Quentin Patton. Quentin Patton. I don't remember Quentin Patton. Colt, I feel like. No, he was a Niner back then. So that's another San Francisco 49er for Sean. Now, Panini's generally put it pretty good, Sean, about redeeming expired redemptions. I know this is from a blast from the past. See, Rory thought Colts too. Why do we think Colts? He's not on the Colts now. Okay. Um, so I know it's expired, but sometimes some people say they still scratch this off and punch it into the system and it works and it goes through. Or you can hit them up. So we'll breeze by these. These aren't numbered, but of course they will ship. They're inserts. It's a rookie anyway. We got Justin Brown, rookie autograph for the Steelers. That's going to be for Rolando Lewis. Out of 139. There's rookie Tyler Wilson. There's rookie Kawan Short. That is for the Panthers. That's going to head out to Brian Bledsoe. We got Rodney Smith, rookie autograph for the Vikings. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci, seal curtain, with uh, got, getting randomized the Vikes. Oh, sorry about that. No worries, Johnny O. Well, Rory's going to try for the Bucks in the next one, so we'll see. Stephen K saying it's gone, so. So uh, we'll get Noir Basketball on the docket. Right. <laughs> Rory would get it and then, then he'll owe you. All right, next one, folks. Ooh, ouch. Vinny's like, trust me, Rory won't get it. Hashtag no luck, Rory. I feel like we haven't seen any significant bucks, right? Um, I think we've seen a couple like Dante DiVincenzo autographs, but in those noir breaks. But I don't think any like low numbered stuff or like any train whistle zone stuff or nothing, uh, you know. No like Nike swoosh of some dude or whatever, you know, so it should be due. All right, there's RG3, DeAndre Hopkins rookie card, that's nice. Greg, you'll get that card there. And there's Luke Jokel. Look at this Jokel. That goes to Jeff Mason and the Jags. Eighty-three out of ninety-nine. And there's Travis Kelsey autograph. Nice rookie auto, Travis Kelsey. That's for Chris Hale with the Chiefs. That's the spot Mark Matheson gave you. Look at that, Mr. Mike's daddy. 
Boom. Rookie auto, Travis Kelsey to 499 on its way. You got to thank Mark Matheson for that. Nice. And thank you, Mark. And we got Josh Boyce to 499. No, I hope we don't leave that NT basketball on the on the table tonight, Rich. We just I think we're only a few uh, number block break spots away. Number block number De Mavericks block spots away. There's Jordan Reed, four ninety nine, Jersey and Auto. Yeah, we just filled up that noir, which should eat up some time, and then we should have plenty of time for that NT and then maybe a little bit of time after that to break one or two more quick short things. Riffer saying Kelsey, arguably the best rookie in 2013. Le'Veon Bell's, yeah, Le'Veon Bell's pretty good. If this guy, if this guy could stay healthy, he'd, he'd be really, really good. Health has always been an issue for him. Hopkins is in this class too. Keenan Allen is in this class. Keen if Keenan Allen's healthy. All right, next box. What's up? Bark at the park this Friday in Oakland, ladies and gentlemen. You bring your uh, separate tickets needed for humans and dogs. Oh yeah, you're uh, you got the Chief and the Redskins randomized, and oh, you got the Jordan Reed too, actually. Yes, yeah, so there you go, man. So you got the Jordan Reed jersey in auto as well. You got the Kelsey and the Jordan Reed. Yeah, that Aaron Judge is nice, Arson. That is faux show. They're on the way. Both him and Giancarlo are on their way back, right? There's Chris Harper, 70 out of 499. I guess that's Niners edition. That'll be another one for Sean and the Niners. You need another one, Arson? Well, you, you know where to go. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There's Eric Fisher. Rookie auto for the Chiefs. Another one for Mr. Mike's daddy. Rookie Refractor Jordan Reed. Jack Doyle to 499. Rookie autograph for the Colts. Greg J. With the horseshoes.
I got a question for you guys. Football question for you guys um, and girls. What? Uh, who's going to be the surprise team this year? They're always a surprise team. Who's going to be that surprise team? There's always a team where they were like under 500 last year or like well under 500 the year before and then all of a sudden they're pushing for a playoff spot. I don't think Browns count, by the way. I, th I think we know they're, they're going to be pretty good if it all comes together. There's Landry Jones, Jersey and Auto for the Steelers, Rolando Lewis. Packers says auto save. Niners says Riffer, but he's not biased. Niners, that that's a good pick. That they they could push for a playoff spot. I don't know if Packers count. I, I think they're expected to be in the playoffs. But Niners could be that surprise team. Jets, yeah, the Jets could put it all together. For the hobby says Bucks. Is this like Jameis Winston just and? Mike Evans just go off. All right. Yeah, let's see. Ravens maybe. Let's see what Lamar Jackson does across the entire season. Bills. Bills, okay. Josh Allen did. I, I feel like there was a weird, there was a weird uh, roller coaster for Josh Allen. Pre-draft. Everyone loves Josh Allen. Post draft, everyone still loves Josh Allen. Quarterback Josh Allen for the Bills. And then I feel like preseason, early in the season, everyone's down on Josh Allen. You know, he only has a big arm, no accuracy, blah blah blah. But then towards the end of the season, I feel like Josh Allen started to to people started to like Josh Allen again towards the end of the season. He's using his legs a little bit more. You know, and has started to put some good plays together, good some stringing together, some good games, some good starts. I like Josh Allen. I'm looking forward to seeing what he, him and the Bills can do. Yeah, he had zero weapons. He had nothing. But with some weapons, he's you know he's got a year of the NFL under his belt. That could be really interesting. Raiders, maybe? Says Edward. I'd love that. I don't know if this year's the year. I think this year, kind of a transitional year. I think they're going to add some more pieces in the next draft, and then, then I'm going to feel pretty good about the Raiders. Hey, if it happens this year, I'm okay with that, too. There's Zach Stacy. Remember Zach Stacy? Rookie auto for the Rams. That's for Roy, Roy and the Rams. Logan thinks the Bucks will be a tough team and a better record than the Eagles, guaranteed. Why Eagles? Arson says Winston's going to go off this year. I mean, you kind of want him to. That that'd be hashtag good for the hobby for all the everyone who's been sitting on Winston autographs. I feel like his his first few years in his, of his career have been a little, you know, a little inconsistent. Hasn't made the huge leap that I think people wanted. There's Marcus Hunt for George and the Bengals. But if Jameis Winston, he does have the talent to just really, really turn things around. Could be interesting. We got Datone Jones, rookie auto for the Packers. Greg Brewer with the pack. Ah, Arson says, I am a knoll, so I'm a little biased. He was a great, he was a great pitcher too, right? I think closer, I think, for the baseball team. For 
redemption. And it's Vance McDonald. Niner? Steeler? Steelers. Oh, now. No, he's a Niner back then. Back in 2013, the checklist would be 49ers. This is 2013 select. So that goes to uh, Sean Donovan once again. Same spiel with the expired redemptions. Um, Robert Grease asking Browns over or under 10 wins this year. Has Vegas put out win totals yet? Is it 10? What is it? I would say. I would lean under. I think they'll win like nine games. You just threw that number out there? That's not a bad number. I think, what if you set the total at nine? That could be an interesting... That'll make it pretty tough. If you just set Brown's win total nine, over or under. I think maybe most people would think they would hit right around nine. Oh, Vegas, do you have, uh, have lines out? Um, Bucks are, Bucks win total six and a half. How's the rest of that NFC South? a tough division. I could see seven. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Quinn and Williams. Who you play for? If anyone else has any, has any knowledge on the Quinn and Williams, if, if these are if if that's a new rookie, definitely not in in football shape for that. There's Bryce Butler, autograph for the Raiders, Sean Donovan with my Raiders. Oh, he was number three overall pick. Mark says he's very good. Jersey and Auto, Marcus Wheaton. That is for the Steelers. Rolando Lewis with the Steelers. So Westgate has Browns at nine. Oh, okay, so that is a good line. Where I was like, it'd be a challenge if they set it at nine, and it is at nine. See, that makes it tough. Kevin Minter, Cardinals, Brian Bledsoe. One seventy-seven out of four ninety-nine. There's a Bleedy Red Wilson. Might do uh, might do Westgate Super Contest again, Arson. I was on. Oh, did the Cubs win? Oh, who blew the Kenley Jansen? Come on, he's on my fantasy team. I took the Cubs today too.
All right, last box coming up. Oh, but you got him at plus 500 in the eighth inning. Thanks, Jeremy Anderson. It's a good play. Rizzo homer in the ninth. Mm. Dodgers bullpen need help. Can't keep rolling Kenley Jansen out there multiple games in a row anymore like they used to. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. So coming up after this will be Immaculate Baseball, then we'll do Autograph Hockey Pucks, and then we'll do, um, I guess I think Noir filled up after that. So that'll be in that 9.45 LA time, time slot right there that you see in the chat. Ooh, parlays are brutal. I, I almost never try to play parlays, Robert. I, don't, I never win them. And I'm always a game short or a pick short. But it's just like, it's so seductive because you're just like, oh yeah, four or five teams plus 800, yeah. What about the Niners win total is at eight, according to Westgate, Ar Arson saying. What does everyone think about that? Garoppolo needs to be healthy. But I think I like their coaching. There's BJ Daniels. Uh, that's for the Seahawks. That'll be Greg Brewer. I mean, I think it all depends on what the what the Seahawks do. Do they progress? Do they regress? They do face the Rams a couple times a year, but the Cardinals, I'm sure, will have some growing pains. There's Ace Sanders out of 499. Jaguars. That goes to Jeff Mason. I think uh, the Niners will be a fun team to... I feel like they're a team that you can bet on throughout the season. I feel like they'll be undervalued. And I feel like they have a good defense that'll keep them in games and Garoppolo who could cover. Even if they lose games, I could, I'll, I could see them still covering... If Garoppolo is healthy, you know, and he can kind of, you know, make some uh, make some moves after learning from that guy, you know, and just learn a thing or two about fourth quarters. That's my early sort of like speculation, just off the cuff. All right, there's Jones again for the Packers, Greg Brewer. To 199. The redemption is Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. That's a nice one for the Steelers. Rolando Lewis. Rolando Lewis, I'll give you the whole spiel too. Yes, I know it's an expired redemption, but a lot of people say they can scratch that off, still pump that into the system, the code into the system, and it works. Or you can contact Panini. They'll usually hook you up with something if that Le'Veon Bell autograph is not available, but very nice. That's a good way to end it, folks. Second half of the case in the store. So check it out. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.